guys. So today, if you haven't guessed already, we're working on our intro paragraphs to our essays. Remember, the topic is the greatest sport of all time, and we are doing opinion writing. So our essays should include um, opinions about why the great, why it's the greatest sport of all time. And so in our pre-write, we've chosen a topic. We had three different reasons to support that topic, and then we branched off and did three more uh, uh, supporting details to that topic. So we'll get to the supporting details later in the body of our paragraph, but right now we're just introducing what we're talking about. Now, this is one of the most important paragraphs you will write because in the writing world, if I'm writing a book, in fact, I have to write a letter to whatever publisher I send it to telling them why this book should be published. They tell them why this book is so great. And I have to do that in just three paragraphs. So the best thing that we can do is figuring out what can I write that's going to hook the reader? Well, I wrote down here, when we are writing something, we're writing something to convince them to like it. Now, a convincing argument paper will include mostly facts, but because it's opinions, we can include those facts, but we can also include experiences, okay? We want to connect with that reader. So you want to be able to include things of why you think that this sport is the greatest thing in a way that they will connect to it. So we'll get to that part later, but first let's figure out our hook. The first sentence is going to capture the reader's attention. So I'm going to write first uh, this sentence. Ballroom dancing is one of the lesser known sports in the world. Because when we think of sports, we think of baseball, basketball, or soccer. And of course, ballroom dancing is a sport because people do compete in ballroom dancing and they do um, you know, win prizes for it and they do not, not essentially play, but they do uh, athletic things. So I'm writing this down as my intro. Ballroom dancing is one of the lesser known sports in the world. Now I'm going to write uh, the body of, of my <laughs> intro by including the three things of what I'm going to write about. So the three things I'm going to include in one sentence and I'm going to write it in a list. I'm going to start it with it requires, let's think, sometimes I have to stop and think. Oh, it requires people. I'm not gonna write them because if I wrote them, um, I'm acknowledging that I wrote the word people in a sentence before that, which I didn't do. So I'm gonna make sure I write people. It requires people to be athletic. Let's keep thinking. In front of judges. That's the important thing because lots of sports are in front of judges who are keeping score just like referees, uh, but the judges, put a comma, because that's my, gonna be my first paragraph. It's fun to dance and, oops, it has a lot of rewards, period. So this uh, body body of my paragraph right here is acknowledging all three things that I did in my pre-write. So when I said it requires people to be athletic in front of judges, that is part of how it's done and how it's played. Okay, then when I say it's fun to dance, that's what I included here, uh, the fun part. And then and it has a lot of rewards, rewards. Okay, all the things that you've added here are you're going to describe in the paragraphs when you get to that point. So, um, now, for my final sentence, because I only wrote two, I want to make sure it has three to five sentences. I wrote, ballroom dancing is one of the lesser known sports in the world. It requires people to be athletic in front of judges. It's fun to dance, and it has a lot of rewards. Which is why it's, now remember it's apostrophe, because I'm writing it is, it's the greatest sport of all time. 
That's another important thing. When you write your last sentence, you should have a second hook that's going to make you want to read to the next one. Okay, so I started out introducing my topic. I wrote down what I'm going to write about in my body of my essay, and then I concluded with a uh, kind of a catchy last sentence so I can keep on going, all right? Um, I don't think there's really anything more that I can include in this video, only just to be careful of grammar. Uh, notice when I'm writing a list, I wrote a comma and then another comma and my last uh, subject that I included, I had an and at the end. That's something that I do catch a lot. Remember when you have a period, the next word starts with an uppercase. Um, another thing, do not start a new sentence with and. It's not very proper to do that. Um, some people can get away with it, but I would strongly encourage to not start a sentence. Like, don't go here, and that is why it's the greatest part of all time. No, that's not very proper to say. So it's kind of the same thing with which also, that should be in front of a comma, but I'm going to break that rule today because it's better than and. <laughs> so anyway, that should be um, what your intro paragraph should look like three to five sentences, clearly telling me what subject it is, what you're going to be writing about, and also stating greatest word of all time in some way. So there you have it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, even comment on this video if you like. That'll be fun. <laughs> have a great day, guys. Happy writing.